Hello, welcome to Collie Biology. Today for Biology 112, we're going to review the structures of the cell. First we look at the plasma membrane. The plasma membrane is the structure that contains the entire cell, goes all the way around. Everything inside the plasma membrane is referred to as the cytoplasm. So that includes all of the contents of the cell, all of these little structures, all the colored bits, that's all a component of the cytoplasm, including the fluid in between all of these bits. That's also included as part of the cytoplasm. Centrally located in the cell is the nucleus. This entire white structure is the nucleus. It's defined by the nuclear envelope. Nuclear envelope is the white portion with the nuclear pores or the holes in it. Looks a little bit like a golf ball. Inside the nuclear membrane, we have a couple of things. Okay, this represents the nucleus, so we're just kind of zooming in a little bit. We see the nice white nuclear envelope, nuclear pores. Two things on the inside of the nucleus. We see the round nucleolus, or nucleolus, that produces ribosomes. And then all of our little blue coiled or curled structures, that represents the chromatin, the DNA, that's your genetic material. So within the nuclear envelope, we have the nucleolus and your DNA. Around the outside of the nucleus, we see this colored stuff with all the bumps associated with it, all the little white bumps. The white bumps are ribosomes, and they are contained on this membrane, and when there are ribosomes present, we call all of this structure, this is three-dimensional, this is a little more two-dimensional, you can still see the white bumps, this is rough ER, rough ER, rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now, if we find some of this membrane without the bumps, so here we see two-dimensionally, and here we see three-dimensionally, this dark blue structure without the white ribosomes, that's smooth ER, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. We see also near the nucleus a paired structure. These are the centrioles. There are always two of them. They're always at right angles to each other, and they're always located relatively close to the nucleus. Those are involved in cell division. We've got this gorgeous pink structure, sort of curved and stacked. That's the Golgi apparatus, sometimes called the Golgi bodies or the Golgi complex. Golgi apparatus, and pinching off of the Golgi apparatus, we think about those pinching off of each side, are little vesicles little vesicles that are created by the Golgi apparatus. Everything orange in this particular cell, so we see orange in cross-section, various orange from the outside, from the inside, all of these orange structures are the powerhouse of the cell, the mitochondria. That's where cellular respiration is taking place to produce ATP energy. We see those wrinkles on the inside, very characteristic shape. Those are the cristae forming that look on the inside of our oval-shaped mitochondria. We have a couple of larger vesicles, which we call vacuoles. There are a variety of them in this particular cell. Some of them are yellow, some of them are a grayish color. The cytoskeleton of a cell refers to all the internal components that give it its shape and its structure. There are no specific cytoskeleton components on this particular model. We also might look externally to find cilia or flagella. Cilia are little short, hair-like structures that would be on the outside of the cell, and a flagella is essentially a long tail, and we would see that projecting from the outside of the plasma membrane, providing propulsion. That is also not present on this particular cell model. All right, let's go ahead and look at a second model of a cell, just a different representation of an animal cell, but we can see the same structures as we did in the previous model. The plasma membrane is everything around the outside contains all of the cytoplasm, includes all of the colored components as well as the cytosol, which is the fluid inside the cell. We see the centrally located nucleus, nuclear envelope with the nuclear pores. Inside we have the nucleolus, nice and bright red. We also have the gray latticework structure, that's the DNA or the chromatin. On the outside of the nucleus we see rough ER, we know it's rough because it has all of the ribosomes, some of those ribosomes are free floating throughout the cell. If we don't have ribosomes associated with the membrane, that's smooth ER. Next to the nucleus, we have the centrioles, once again, always paired, always at right angles, always close to the nucleus. Those are used in cell division. We should recognize the nice and characteristic curve structure of the Golgi apparatus, pinching off into small vesicles or storage containers on the side. Everything orange in this model is a mitochondria. So we see there's one from the outside. Here we can see the cristae on the inside of that particular structure. 
We also see a couple of storage containers, larger storage containers in the cell. Those are either vesicles or vacuoles. Um, larger ones are considered vacuoles, and sometimes we call them a specialty name known as a lysosome if it contains digestive enzymes. So it looks just like a round structure, but if you knew that on the inside there were digestive enzymes, we would call that specifically the lysosome. There's no cytoskeleton elements in this particular model. There's no cilia or no flagella, but we know those are external structures used for propulsion. That's your cell.